of this. All right, guys, it is Marcus here today with an ancient wealth secret that you don't want to miss. This wealth secret is responsible for making lots of people millions and millions, sometimes even billions of dollars. And I kid you not, this is something you need to pay attention to. This is something I don't talk about as often as I should, but if you've been watching my videos, I've been hiding it in plain sight the entire time, which is crazy. So what we're going to talk about today is this ancient wealth secret that people from all walks of life all over the world are using to get results. We're also going to talk about how this secret is responsible for making me personally a ton of money. I've been hiding this secret in plain view right under your nose in all my videos. And once you get this, no one, I say no one, can take it away from you. Plus, we're going to talk about how a $500 investment can yield as much as $30,000 or more. This is a true example, but with a warning. But first, before we dive in, how many copywriting elements can you spot in this clip? Deep in the Amazon jungle, Motorbike Man discovers an ancient wealth secret. Back before I discovered this secret, the only thing I had was the jungle and my motorbike. And whatever food I had, I kept in this satchel because, frankly, the bigger animals in the jungle would take it from me. But then one day, as if by magic, I saw something sparkling down in the water. It was, it was a bracelet. I knew right then and there, that bracelet would change my life. Then I found another one. And another. And then, an entire satchel of money that matched my previous satchel. I left the jungle that day a changed man. Not only was I able to get rich, beyond my wildest dreams, buy this fancy car and move into this beautiful backyard office. But I also, my batteries. But I also was able to find these bracelets for you over here in this fancy box that was blessed by the thousand farts of the ancient people. You could have your own bracelet and get all this wealth for the low price of just $99.95. And the funny thing is, my bike actually goes faster when I have the bracelet on. That was with no bracelet. Now watch what happens when I put the magic bracelet on. The results are undeniable. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a shout out first of all to Spencer Cornelia for coming up with the idea. I had no idea this niche existed and the lengths that people were going to sell this stuff. So shout out to him. His content is great. If you got a chance, go check it out. Now, in today's lineup, you're going to want to stay till the end because in part one, I'm going to show you how many copywriting elements did you spot in that video? That's right, while you're watching that video, I actually hid some things in that video that are gonna help you make money. We're gonna see if you spotted them. Part number two, we're gonna talk about ethics. We gotta talk about the ethics of copywriting and making money and all this stuff. Part number three, I'm gonna show you how copywriting can increase your earnings big time. Part number four, I'm gonna show you the secrets to high converting copy Part number five, I'm gonna show you how you can have fancy software and all the fancy stuff, but give me this one thing so that I can help you make money. This one thing is responsible for making lots of money and it cost next to nothing. Literally, like next to nothing, like a couple of cents. And part number six, we are gonna talk about how copywriting is not just for sales letters and sales videos. So, Let's go ahead and dive right in. Part number one, out of these copywriting elements, I want you to notice how many you spotted. When you see them, type them in the comments below, put them in the chat box, let me know you saw them. Number one, you need to know your audience. Number two, 
a compelling headline, and we're going to get into these in just a little bit in more detail. Number three, the use of bullet points. Number four, limiting the choices. Number five, a call to action. This is where you ask people to buy stuff. Number whatever we're on, use strong words. Right? Notice how I used um, shocking, new, revelation, discovery. Those kind of things are important. Next up, make it easy to consume. Notice how my little video, even though it was a joke, making fun of these bracelet people, right? It's very important to make it easy to consume and conversational. Next, make it short and easy to the point. This is all gonna make sense if you stay to the end. Number whatever, benefits not features. Social proof, testimonials, give an example of the result. Have a pattern interrupt. Interrupt the pattern that the people are using when they get to your content or your video or your website. Next, storytelling. Speak to where they're at. Enter their world, don't make them enter yours. Next up, have interesting facts. Notice how in a lot of these videos, and we're gonna talk about the ethics in just a minute, but notice how in a lot of these videos they have interesting facts that are true. Like this ancient thing actually goes through and does whatever it does, right? Little facts that they know about. Now, obviously, we'll get into the ethics in a minute, but we gotta dissect this, we gotta talk about this and make it actually work. And last, educate, inform, and sell more, as a late Corey Rudel used to say. Very important. Now, when we're looking at stuff like this, what I want you to do is tell me in the chat box which of these you spotted in the video. Which of these did you see? This is gonna help you get an aha moment. This is gonna help you see things like you've never seen before. This is super important because what these people are doing is they're starting a cult-like following. If you were to go on YouTube or Google or whatever and search for the feng shui bracelet, you're gonna see all kinds of videos of all kinds of people telling how this bracelet literally changed their life. And you aren't gonna be able to help it but say, well, it changed all these people's lives. Maybe it will for me too. But a lot of times those people are paid to tell you what the thing did. This is very important. We are gonna get to stuff today that might change your life if you pay attention to it. Obviously, all I do is give you information. What you do with that information is up to you. But the information you're gonna get in this video is going to blow your mind and help you understand how the business works. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to dissect this feng shui bracelet scam niche thing. Now, I don't know if it's a scam or not. It's kind of overpriced, and I don't think the bracelet does much of anything. It really did not make my bike go faster. It was just because I had the choke on, and I turned the choke off, and the bike went faster. Who would have known? Not me. I am not an engine guy at all. Don't understand any of that stuff. But we're going to help you understand how this works in a real world way. All right? You're going to see lots of videos. You're even going to see videos where they talk about the bracelet scam and what the bracelet scam does. But first, let's crunch some numbers because I want you to see what's going on behind the curtain. A lot of videos exposing the scam they don't look at what's going on behind the curtain because here's a deal. If you were to do a little Google search for these bracelets here, which I got one on my microphone, and I don't know, is it working? Is today's video good? Maybe it is, I don't know. I got like 100 of these things laying around. But there is a point to this whole magic money bracelet thing if you're willing to pay attention. Because here's the deal. If you were to go on the Chinese website Alibaba and look at this bracelet, you could see that you could actually get this bracelet for about 56 cents. Now, I know it says 46 cents here, but we have to factor in shipping. Very important, okay? So, about 56 cents a click. If you're with me, type 56 in the box and let's get this show on the road. Now, I could get this bracelet for 56 cents. Pretty cool, right? Now, I can also go through and look at the amount of people searching for this bracelet. All right, so the first thing we need to look at is the fact that there is a built-in market. 
the law of attraction made a bunch of people think that you can wear bracelets and get rich and the world owes you a living. I, I think Goofy taught us back, that back in the like 50s when that show came out. The world owes me a living. But, you know, apparently people didn't get the memo that that was just Goofy goofing off. But take a look at this. The law of attraction and the secret made complete markets. Right, so where there was no market, there is now a market. And we look at this. Feng Shui bracelet is looked up 16,000 times a month. 16,000 times a month, 27,000 times globally. Now, the cost per click is less than 70 cents. So if I could sell these bracelets, if I could sell one out of 10, I'm making a pretty good profit if I'm charging 30 bucks or whatever. So we have to look at this and say, okay, Pretty good, pretty great. This is a market. These are people, like the competition is nothing. Look at the green, look at the green. So there's a guy on here who's like, I've been trying to sell these bracelets, but it's not working, okay? We'll get to that in a minute. I'm gonna show you how this works because I'm gonna show you what has been missing from your ability to make money on the internet. So built-in market, 57 cents a click. Now. If I was to ship one of these to you or two or three, it's gonna cost me about a dollar or three dollars for shipping. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Most of the stuff that you buy through a mail order, it costs less than shipping to get it to you. That's a fact. We're gonna talk about that. So basically, if I get this for 57 cents, ship it out for a dollar, it's a dollar 57, my cost. Now, most sites are selling this for $29.95 plus $5 shipping. Did anyone catch anything there? All right, you're gonna get aha moments like crazy if you're willing to pay attention. If you're willing, you gotta pay attention. All right, you gotta give me your undivided attention. You gotta take notes because there are some things that I'm gonna drop here that you need to pick up if you wanna make money. So $29.95 plus $5 shipping. So the target price here, the amount you're gonna get from the customer is about $34.95, right? That's the average target price. So obviously, if the cost is only a buck 57 or on the high side, 357, and they're taking $35, this is super profitable. We could afford 70 cents a click, no problem, if we know the secret I'm about to share with you. You guys are like, oh, how do I do drop shipping? How do I do Shopify? How do I do this, that, affiliate marketing? The secrets are contained in this video very important so we have our target price of 35 dollars now if you were to sell 1000 units 1000 units follow with me even if you're not a math brain a thousand units would put 34,950 dollars in your bank pretty cool now out of that there's the cost of goods and shipping so if I was to sell 35,000 of these, that would mean I'd pay about $3,500 in shipping. Now, the merchant fees, which are like the credit card processing fees and all this stuff, are about $1,050. It's about 3%. Follow this. The numbers speak for themselves, okay? So that would mean for 1,000 bracelets sold, the to I think actually it was, a yeah, 1,000 units sold, the total profit would be 30343 okay? Pretty important. Now wait, there was a secret, a money secret that I just revealed. And that is, if anyone's paying attention, they make up the entire cost of the product and the shipping in the shipping. Do you ever wonder why they stopped saying shipping and handling and now they say shipping and processing? It's because the government came in and was like, well, you need to say processing because you're not really just charging them shipping, you're charging them a little bit more than shipping. Interesting, okay? This is gonna, this is gonna open up a whole new world to you and you're gonna start to understand this stuff. And it's not just about drop shipping, it's about anything you wanna do to make money online or even offline for that matter. So here's the deal. I'm gonna give you another secret. This is a secret that works for everything. If you, were to sell five or 10 bracelets to the same customer, okay? Because here's the deal. Up here, the most expensive part of this business is not buying the bracelets. I could have a thousand bracelets here by November 22nd, 
for $500. That's not expensive. That's a thousand pieces of inventory. That means when they're in my garage, there's 30 grand worth of stuff sitting in my garage. Here in my garage, you want a Lambo or you want a bunch of shit you can sell and make a lot of money. I want the stuff I can sell. Now, you don't have to, don't worry. We're not talking about selling physical goods. This is just to illuminate a point. But if you do want to sell physical stuff, if you do want to do drop shipping, pay attention because this is big. So this is not the expensive cost. The 500 bucks is nothing. The 70 cents a click, notice how that's more than the bracelet cost. Think about that. So the bracelet cost me 57 cents to get here on my door. There it is. To get traffic to my website, I have to spend what one bracelet costs, or a little bit more, about 13, 14 cents more, right? So when we look at this, you need to understand the most expensive thing in your marketing is customer acquisition. So this is why people say, build a mailing list. All right, if anyone get an aha moments, let me know in the box, let me know in the comments. This is gonna go nuts once you get it. All right, so the most expensive thing in your business is customer acquisition. Very important, 70 cents a click. I gotta pay more for just one visitor to my website than the damn bracelet costs. Now, we got lots of traffic, which is good, and I could probably get this traffic for six cents, so that's not too bad. Or I could get free traffic on YouTube. Clearly, there's free traffic. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this, because if I could sell five or 10 bracelets to the same exact person, I don't have to spend to get that customer anymore. They're already a customer. So if I boost that order up and say, hey guys, check this out. How about you get five for just $5 more or $10 more? Boom, now watch what happens to my numbers. All right, we gotta get a calculator and a notepad out here, right? Watch what happens to my numbers. So let's say I'm converting one out of 30 people, right? So that means it would cost me $21 to get a sale, all right? That's pretty bad, right? 70 cents times 30, 21 bucks to get a sale. Okay, I'm profiting around $7, okay? Whatever, so I sell 1,000 and I make 7,000 bucks. Now, let's say I get those customers to add another two bracelets or five bracelets. So if they had five bracelets, times a measly $5 each. I mean, you pay 30 for one and you could literally get six for like another 20 bucks, 25 bucks. So what happens is that now puts $25 in my pocket. Pretty cool, right? I'm like, oh wait, so 25 more dollars in my pocket. So now where I was at seven, now I'm at 32 profit, same customer. Most people will buy this. Most people will do it. Crazy, right? So 32 profit, and that's just selling five. If you sell 10 or you do $9 each or whatever, you're good to go. So now I just made more money on the same exact person and the shipping is the same. I'm shipping it to the same person. So if you can understand this, this is a big aha moment that's gonna put more money in your pocket. People don't think about it because what happens here is for every extra bracelet, even at the $5 mark, it's adding 450 to me at no cost. Pretty cool, right? Think about this, because here's the deal. You already made the sale. I don't care if you're doing drop shipping. I don't care if you're doing drop, uh, Shopify, eBay, Etsy, whatever, Amazon coloring books, right? I don't care what you're doing. If you understand that it's about the person who took action, your life's about to change. Because if they took action, opting in, buying a product, watching a live stream, clicking a link in an email, this is going to add everything to your CTO. Contribution to overhead. I want you to keep that in mind. Contribution to overhead, which is including your profit. Now, part number two, we need to talk about something here. There's an elephant in the room, I think. I don't know, there's an owl in the room. Here we go. We got an owl in the room. I had to get this owl for my next video. But we have an elephant in the room to talk about. And that is, we need to talk about ethics. All right, we need to talk about ethics in a big way. Because this influencer, 
community, uh, for the most part, is pretty good. Sales community, for the most part, pretty good. But there are some people doing shady stuff. And in my opinion, some of the videos I watch, and I actually transcribed some of these videos to, to look at it. Some of the videos I saw trying to hawk these bracelets were a little less than honest, to put it nicely. So what we need to do is we need to, we need to pay attention to this. And I remember years ago, when I was at a affiliate marketing conference in Florida, here, I moved here now, but I came here to Florida to go to this conference, and I remember there was some ClickBank guru guys that were talking about their next video. And they were talking about making a video with an actor that was like on his deathbed and his last, it was sick. And I'm like, I don't wanna be a part of that, that's messed up. And they thought it was funny because they just duped people into buying some junk. And I wanna give a warning that we don't wanna do this, and we don't have to do this. You don't have to make up junk or lie to get sales. What do you need? A good market and a good product. All right, now, is this a good product? Is this worth $30? I don't know, probably not. I mean, I paid 30 bucks for about 100 of these, I don't know. But, you know, we have to look at this and we have to understand what certain things are worth. Now, would this be worth more money if I added something to it? Here's another big clue you need to pay attention to. I'm gonna break it down for you in a minute. How many of you guys are digging this so far? Smash that like button, let me know in the comments because we're gonna get into some stuff that's a big aha moment. This is going to change the way you think about marketing and you're gonna to wanna to watch this multiple times even though I keep moving to the other side of the screen there. There we go, all right, very important. We need to talk about this. We need to get to the bottom of ethics. Years ago, and this is where, uh, this is why this kind of marketing is personal to me. Not only that, but I've had family members who have bought things that are supposed to make them healthy, and it, it didn't. I've had family members that have thought certain things and uh, to get wealth or whatever, and it didn't work that way. And the cost is more than 30 bucks, all right? You might be, you know, duping someone out of 30 bucks or whatever if you sell a junk bracelet, but what's the ultimate cost? What's the cost of someone who, who like, didn't get better, who didn't make the money and was relying on it? What's the cost of lying to these people? Very important. Years ago, I was about 12 or 13. I was a nerd was a nerd, right? Probably still am. I got a banana shirt on and a fake Lambo for crying out loud. But we have to look at this and we have to understand what's going on. When I was 13 years old, I was sitting in a church. Uh, my family had brought me to this church. There was a prophet. We use a prophet in these things at the church. And I'm sitting there in the church and this guy is like this big, sweaty, crazy guy. And he runs from the stage and he grabs me by the arm. And I mean, I'm tiny. I, I'm five foot tall still to this day. So back then I was a little guy and he yanked me out of my seat. And he's like, you're gonna be a scientist. And he tells everyone that I'm gonna be this scientist guy. And the guy actually becomes a famous preacher later, right? You guys might've heard of him. He's all over the internet. And this guy said I was gonna be a scientist. Is he wrong? Is he right? I have no idea. But I do know that what he told me didn't come true, which makes it not a prophecy, but a guess. And a lot of people said, well, Marcus, you know, that's because you didn't take hold of the prophecy. You got to take hold of the prophecy and you got to go get it. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make it a prophecy. That makes it a suggestion. All right. Pay close attention. This is a suggestion. Is this going to get you wealth? No. Will it, you know, make you feel like you're going to get wealth? Maybe. Maybe. Is that worth 30 bucks? Probably not. Right. But we have to understand exactly what's going on because people are peddling this stuff. And this this profit guy passed away a couple of years ago, made millions of dollars, millions of dollars tax free because it's a church. But I want you to understand this because here's this little kid who thinks he's going to be some scientist and his family. I literally my family made me write every word of his prophecy out. I had to listen to it in headphones and write it out because it was going to be true. And it wasn't true. Now, people like this, they get some, some stories, all right? He's been prophesying for 50 years, 30 years. If you tell enough people enough stuff, something's going to come true. If I sell enough of these bracelets, someone's going to win the lottery. Like, they're going to win it anyway, but they're going to have the bracelet, and they're going to think it's because of the bracelet. That's damaging. So what we need to understand here on an ethical standpoint is that copywriting is powerful. 
If I tell a story, it's powerful. Copywriting is persuasion. You're persuading to do someone to do something that they probably normally wouldn't do otherwise without it presented to them. So you're focusing. Copywriting is influence. Influence. You hear this whole thing about influencer marketers making the bucks, all right? Those people are in power positions. They don't treat it like that sometimes, but they actually have people listening to them and hanging on their words and trusting what they say. And when a company says, hey, I'll pay you $100,000 to talk about this bracelet and how it made you rich, then everyone goes, wait a minute. All these people said that. All those people that were prophesied, some of them came true. And those are the ones you hear about. You don't hear about the people who didn't come true because they're off, you know, doing what they do. Nobody heard about it till now. So we got to understand it. And we need to understand this. Like Rickard says, well put. There's a fine line between copywriting and propaganda. Very important. Now, propaganda is to propagate a message. That's the idea of the word. Now, has it been used bad? Of course it has. But you need to understand that you are responsible for your words. Years ago, when I first started marketing, there was these people that were in a network marketing company, and they had this liquid vitamin. And they told people that this liquid vitamin would heal everything. I mean, you come to them and you're like, I got a bellyache, drink this. I'm dying, here, drink this. And they would tell this stuff as if it's going to help. And people would like go off their medicine and stuff. And it's like, I'm sorry, you need to listen to your doctor, not some guy who's hawking something that gets paid to hawk it. All right. Is there wisdom outside of some professions? Of course there is. Should it be taken with like the smallest grain of salt ever? Of course it should. And when we understand that we are responsible for our words and we're responsible for our truth in advertising, we need to understand that it's up to you to sell good stuff. Sell good stuff, right? There are plenty of things. I'm going to talk to you about an example in just a minute. I got it right here. This example is an ethical way to make a bigger return on investment investment than these bracelets. All right, how many of you guys are like, dude, I saw those numbers up there, and it's tempting to lie about bracelets and sell them because I can make a lot of money, right? You sell a million of these things a year, you're making $30 million a year, and some people are doing this. They import them, and there you go. But what if I told you, you could do this without it. Like, these people are searching. They don't need the story. Make them laugh. Like, some people probably wanted to buy the bracelet because of my joke video, right? Pretty cool. But we take a look at this because there is something you can do ethically because here's the deal. You say your market's too competitive. You say the stuff isn't selling. You say this, this, and this. Whose fault is it? You choose what to sell. Nobody's twisting your arm and saying you need to sell this. They aren't. I mean, some people will try, believe me. Some people email me incessantly and say, do this, do that, sell this. But here's the deal. If you have the right audience, you don't need to be shady. If you have the right audience, you don't need to be shady. And a lot of these people, unfortunately, I come from the world of some ethical preachers and some non-ethical preachers. Right? I grew up in, a, in an area where we knew a lot of the people who were on uh, TV preacher shows. And a lot of those people are like, you wouldn't even want to meet them off camera. Because it's like, what is wrong with those people? Because they're all in it for the money. That's all they care about. Because they, that's the way they chose to make their money. Could they make that much a different way? Some of them probably not. They don't seem that intelligent, to be honest. But at any rate, here's the deal. If you have the right audience, you don't need to be shady. Notice how I come on here. I'm like, I'm going to show you how to make money. The chances are you'll make nothing. Most people do nothing. Most people make nothing. Even people who do stuff make nothing. Can you make it work? I believe you can. Is it easier than most people make out? I believe it is. That's my belief. But the facts say less than 1% make it work. Now, when we talk about being shady, we're talking about embellishment. We're talking about bending the truth, right? We're talking about outright lies. Like, hey, my family was out and poor, and we found this bracelet, and now we're rich. That's an out 
outright lie. Now, the last part of the ethics preaching session is an interesting area. This is the area of price. Now, I differ with a lot of people. I watch a lot of videos about the fake gurus and stuff like that, okay? When I see the videos about the fake gurus, a lot of times what they will talk about is price. Oh, that guru charges $1,000 for his course. This guy charges 50 bucks. The guy who charges 50 is legit. The thousand is not. Well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know what they're selling, but some things are worth $1,000. Some things are not. Case in point, the most expensive cars on the planet. You got your Lambo. You got your Ferrari. You got this. You got that. The most expensive cars on the planet, including Rolls Royce, spend a lot of time in the workshop. They break down all the time. That's why they only give you like a 12-month warranty. Think about that. You buy a $300,000 car, you get a 12-month warranty. You buy a $20,000 car, you get a 10-year warranty. And like to fix the expensive car cost a fortune. So with that logic, with the pricing logic, those people selling Lamborghinis are frauds. Are they? No. If someone wants the Lamborghini, they go buy it. They know what they're getting. That's the key. They know what they're getting. They know what they're getting. Very important. Let's talk about fancy cars and thread reels. Because we're talking about this stuff here. And we have this thing, okay? I found this on um, Alibaba. Okay? Alibaba here. We go through Alibaba, and we get this reel of thread. Now, I used to be a magician. We're going to have some magic in up-and-coming videos. If you're excited about that, smash a like button. I'm kind of rusty, but I'm going to try to entertain you as best as I can. All right, so here we have this invisible magic thread, nylon, whatever. I could get this in bulk for 35 cents a click. 35, cent, or 35 cents per reel thread reel, okay? Each thread reel has 4,000 feet per roll. 4,000 feet, that's a lot of feet. I only got two feet, it's 4,000 feet on that. Now, if I divide that into 40 feet sections, that's 100 units per roll. Pay attention, type it in the box. If you're paying attention, put 100 units per roll. I'm gonna show you something. You can go sell this tomorrow if you want and sell it tomorrow. Okay? So it's just a reel. It's a bunch of thread. It's used for sewing. Or something else. This here is something I paid $10 for, $9.95 plus shipping, for the purpose of this video. And also because I like magic. This is the thread that came off that 20 or 35 cent reel. Okay? This thread is going right now on Amazon and other places, $12, $11, $12, $8, uh, three bucks plus seven shipping. We got $6, $20, $5 plus shipping. All right, all they did is take this roll, wrap 40 feet of it around a playing card and cut a little notch so it gets in there nice and tidy, right? And they sell this. To a sewing person, the reel's probably worth five bucks. I bought a reel over at the Joann's Fabrics for five dollars. To a magician, this is worth 12 bucks. So again, let's have some fun with math. I don't think, yeah, I did, I did do the math. There we go, I was up late making notes. So I forgot what I made. Let's say you sell these bad boys for eight bucks. Eight bucks each. Now you get a hundred on a roll. So you're already even if you pay a dollar for it, you're already seven bucks ahead of the game and you still got 99 units you can sell. All right, $8 times 100 is $800. Pretty cool. You guys getting this? This is like basic business 101 that no one talks about. They talk about drop shipping. They show you their Lambo, but they don't show you the numbers. You could go sell this today. Like, there you go. We're going to have a video about drop shipping and I'm not going to spoil it too much. Just subscribe and you'll, you'll see it, right? So we got this. I could get some playing cards and I could sell this. My cost is a dollar for all of them, which means my markup is $799. Question. I want your honest opinion. 
is this unethical? Is it unethical that I know I can buy this for a buck and I know I could sell it and make $7.99, $799 less shipping, which I probably charge the customer shipping anyway. Or I could even undercut it and say I'll sell it for $4 with free shipping. It's still three bucks. It's still $300. I spend one. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. How many of you guys think, type it in the box, say ethical or unethical? Okay, let me know. Type it in the comments, ethical or unethical. What do you think? Okay. Do I have a video on how to bring people to your website? I have a bunch of them. Okay, yeah, it's, it's business. I don't think that that's unethical. I've pay, maybe it's because of the fact that I came from the world of magic where, like, literally, this wallet, it's a magic wallet, all right? Literally, I could get this on Alibaba for three bucks. I paid, I think, 100 for this one. And the reason I paid is because they teach you what, it, what it's used for. Right, it's like gold. Why is gold expensive? Why is a brick of gold 2,000 bucks or whatever it is? What's the cost of gold today? Okay, this is gonna give you a lesson that's gonna make your brain think differently. Okay, so cost, let's see, price of gold. So right now, the price of gold is uh, $1,762. $1,700, this is how much a, a brick of gold is, an ounce of gold. One ounce of gold is 1700 bucks. Why? Why is that $1,700? And Danny, there you go. There's a thousand needles in a block of steel. Boom. There you go. Think about this. This is worth money because of this. I'm going to write it down. This is the reason gold is worth money. Because what are you going to use it for? Dentistry, jewelry, you know, stuff like that. Like people who think diamonds are valuable and rare. They're not. They're all over the place. The marketers just made you think they're rare. And guess what? You look at this and you say, hey, you know, you're marking this up $7.99. The diamonds, they found in the ground with the gold. It was right next to it or something, right? Here's the reason. The reason is because people say it is. Gambling man says it's because it's rare. Maybe, maybe not. Gold might not be rare. There's probably a bunch of it in the middle of the earth. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not in the middle of the earth. But we look at this and we understand the fundamental thing of business. If you want to get in a market and make a bunch of money, find a different use for a product. Ah, wait a minute. So this, wait a minute. So these bracelets, okay, although people are unethically doing stories and stuff. They found a different use. Like this was just, you know, I don't know. They were probably in uh, you know, Epcot in the Chinese area of Epcot, right? They probably had them there. Just cute, whatever, nice bracelet. These guys came up with a different use for them. Hey, this is gonna help you get X, Y, and Z. Like holy water, water's free. They said, oh, hey, you know, the priest blessed it. So now it's holy, so it's holy water. And now it's worth a bunch of money because someone said so and because someone believed it. People will spend to the ends of the earth on something they believe. And that's why I had to put this ethical segment in here because you gotta be ethical. Now, is this ethical? Yeah, you know, you sell the magic trick, give them some extra stuff. Say, hey, in addition to that magic trick, I'm gonna give you a free access to 10 tricks that I do. And show them the trick. Show them what the trick does. Show people, woo, wow, great, that's an awesome trick. And then give them that free. What does it cost you? Again, think, guys, think. Contribution to overhead. Remember how I said you sell five of these for five bucks or 10 bucks each? What if instead you're like, hey, I'll just add something. What if I say, hey, if you buy five reels of thread, you can get my free videos or a free trick. And this video can be delivered digitally. It doesn't cost anything. Guys, when you start to understand that you can do ethical marketing, you can give something good, you can give better stuff. Like maybe I say, hey guys, you know, a lot of those people, they talk about the feng shui bracelet. Now, I believe in the bracelet. Disclaimer, I'm acting right now. I don't really believe in it. I don't know, maybe. 
I don't know, though. But let's say I say, okay, I believe in the bracelet, and I'm going to show you the things that I do. Now, a lot of people buy this bracelet, and it doesn't work. Some people, it does work. And there was actually videos talking about why it didn't. But we have to look at this, and we have to understand what's going on, because if you get these lessons that I'm dropping, like, you don't need to listen to guru stuff. You go through, and you're like, hey, this is, this is what works. And I can add on to the order. I can add on. Maybe I sell this wallet as an affiliate. And by the way, Magic uh, tr uh, Tricks have great affiliate programs. Or I could drop ship this. I could get these in or drop ship them. And I could say, here's my 10 tricks that do this. Very, very important. Like this. Smart Business said, bottled water. Is that a ripoff? Like, literally, look at most bottled water. It says bottled from a municipal source. What does that mean? It was bottled over there in the municipal government water area, right? Or whatever it is. I think that's what that means, right? They charge a bunch of money. So we have to look at that, and we have to understand exactly how it works. And when you look at this and you understand it and you get it, you will start to focus. Now, how many of you guys are going to be ethical marketers? Do this ethically, because what I'm about to teach you can increase your money big time. And we're going to go through, and we're going to look at this. Part three, how copywriting can increase your earnings big time. Gary Halbert said, the most powerful force in the world is words on paper. I tend to agree with him. The words on paper, on screen, on video can make a big difference in people's lives. Wars have been fought over words. Couples have broken up over words. Lives have been changed over words. Words are powerful. Words are powerful. And when you understand that, you will understand part number four, but we're going to get that in a minute. Here's how it works. What you're going to do is you're going to get the attention of your market. You want to get attention of these feng shui bracelet people? Make a video say it didn't, didn't work for me right away. Didn't work for me at all. But if you like it, here's where to get it cheap or whatever. I don't know. If you're going to do the magic thing, talk about how it works. Talk about how it's going to make it. I remember years ago when I was a magician, I ran an ad in the local magazine and I got some sales. Okay, I got like six or eight sales. It cost me $170 to run the ad. Seven sales made me, you know, 800 bucks, maybe 1,000 bucks. Sometimes I got 10 sales. I was happy. I'm like, whatever, turn that into that. I get some sales. I make some money. Then I met this magician. I called him up out of the magazine, and he had a course. And he's like, this course to learn how to do magic is $300. And I was like, you're going to teach me how to get more gigs for three? I called him up. I said, I don't got 300 bucks. He said, okay, I'm going to teach you something. And when you use it and it works, will you buy my course? I said, yeah. There you go. He said, I want you to change your ad from Magic Balloons Comedy and Fun Call Marcus to Make Your Child's Party Unforgettable. Question. Was that advice right there worth $300? He looked at my ad. He said, your ad sucks. Make it say this. If you think it's worth 300 bucks, type 300 in the box. This is a lesson. These things, you're going to want to watch this video like two or three times. Okay? Was that worth 300 bucks? It's actually worth millions to me. That advice set me on a path to make millions of dollars. But before I got there, I was wearing, I'm just kidding. Calm down, sit down. But before I got there, I had to understand magic, right? That was worth a lot of money because that changed everything. I was able to now make 30 sales a month, 30 shows, make three grand off the same 170 bucks. So we have to look at this. I think we need to differentiate because a lot of talk goes on about price. Price. And I think if people know what they're buying, is very important. Trevor says, did you then buy the magic course? Yes, I did. I did. And I actually got to uh, meet the guy on phone. And I think I met him in person, too. Nice guy. He actually works for a big marketing firm now. Um, but it's very important because 
that changed the course of things. That helped me out because I was willing to look at it. It had nothing to do with fate or a bracelet or whatever. I actively went. I called everyone in the Magic Magazine. I was a nutcase. I called them. I'm like, what do you do? I called the guy. There was this guy who ran the Magic uh, shows on TV. Back then, they had the world's greatest magic. I called the guy who produced the show. I'm like, what do I do? What do I do here? And he's like, here's what to do. And he talked to me. He's like, I'm bored. You know, I got nothing to do. I just got millions of dollars. And we talked about magic. Nice guy. Canadian guy. Nice guy. And so we look at that. And we're like, wait a minute. Focus. And here's something else I learned. Have I talked to him lately? No, I haven't talked to him in 20 years, 15 years. Here's something to remember. Why do these bracelets and stuff work? Why does this work? Why are people able to make up stories and lie? And I'm not pointing out anyone. I don't know who does. I just saw some videos that they lied about it. That's all. But these work because you need to remember that people are blankety blank bored out of their minds. Most people look to Facebook for entertainment. You guys are watching me. I'm not that entertaining. Maybe. I don't know. I got a mini bike and a fake Lambo. That's pretty cool, right? Most people are bored out of their minds. If you understand this, all you got to do is spice, tell a story. Instead of saying, hey, guys, I've got this magic thread here. What if you said, imagine being able to levitate any object that you can fit in your pocket with ease, where no one will detect it. Imagine being able to do whatever. Imagine being amazing. What if you could be amazing? Think about it. Think about that for a minute. People are bored. Spice it up. Spice it up. And again, like Smart says, honestly present the offer exactly. Here's what this is. Here's what you're going to get. Now, with magic tricks, I can't really reveal how it works, but I can go through and I can do good stuff, right? And I can be entertaining. Why do you think people like my videos, all right? Because I'm entertaining. I try to do the best I can, and I teach you real stuff. Like, we have a program, the High Ticket Niches, okay? You can get a niche from me, a domain from me. We set up the site. We walk you through it, and now you get a lifetime, as long as I do them, you get access to the Tuesday morning call. So if you get a high-ticket niche, you literally get help for life. As long as I'm doing this business, we'll help you out every Tuesday at 10 a.m. unless I'm gone. But we look at this, and it's like, okay, some people look at that, and they're like, Marcus, your website is not worth $1,000. Right? You go to highticketniches.com, I think it's like 1200 bucks. They say it's not worth it. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's not that great of a website. Will it convert? Will it work? Probably. And if you look at it and you go back to that magic guy and you say, Marcus, you know, that guy, all he said was change your ad to magic. Uh, to, to make your child's party unforgettable. If I went to a guy on the road, if I went to my neighbor and knocked on his door and I said, hey, give me 300 bucks, I got something for you. And he gave me 300 bucks and I said, make your child's party unforgettable. He'd be like, um, I need to call the loony bin people because my neighbor is a nutcase. To him, it's not worth it. To a person who wants a website, high ticket niches, it's not worth it. It's not, it's content in the website. But to people who get the fact that I went through and found the domain, I went through and did research, I went through and I did the market research to find out what to sell, the affiliate offers, the traffic, that is worth it. To this thread and one shop for sewing people, it's worth four bucks for 4,000 feet. To a magician, it's worth a different bit. Think about this, because information works the same way. Information, I say this all the time, write it down. Information structured differently can make you a lot of money. Information structured differently can make you a lot of money. And remember, people are bored. And when we look at the secrets to converting copy, have an interesting backstory. Find true stuff. Have scarcity, if it's true. Only got 500 of these wallets. Only got 50 of them. Our boot camp, Simple Sites Boot Camp, we only take 50 people. There's scarcity. All right, are we going to have another one? Yeah, we have them three times a year. But right now, if you want to be in this one, there's only 50 spots. Don't, you don't need to do fake, you know, this is the last one left. That's it. 
Right, the marketers used to tell us that all the time. Oh, the last one left. You're getting in on the ground floor. I'm sorry, there's always a ground floor. The floor's always on the ground. I mean, come on, what are you talking about here? But we have to understand this and we have to look at it. And number five, you can have fancy software, but give me this. What is this? A pen and paper. I can outsell you with a pen and paper. You can get the click funnels, you can get the click this, you can get the click that, you can get the Shopify, you can get all that fancy stuff. I will outsell you with a sheet of paper. Why? Because I know what to say. And that is the most important marketing lesson you will ever learn. And we're going to go over these in a minute. We're going to go a little longer. If you're good with that, smash the like button. Gary Halbert says, and by the way, if you want to learn copywriting, you can learn it from my course. You could go, uh, there's some good free audios by Gary Halbert out there, some good free videos. He teaches it good. You kind of got to know what you're looking for, but his stuff's really good. He says, you must always find a market first and then concentrate on a product. What did they do when they went for the bracelet? Again, ethics, questionable issues there. Lying, no, but what did they do? They went for the law of attraction market. And now, that's why the bracelet market exists. That's why 16,000 people a month are looking this stuff up. That's why, didn't exist before. Now, it's working, right? And we have to look at that and we have to understand exactly how it's going. He also says, products are a dime a dozen. This is where most people focus. They focus on the product. Did you know that these people that are selling this stuff, they could sell anything. It could be the magic feng shui wallet. It could be the, the, the taco cat goat cheese card. It could be all kinds of stuff, right? Products are a dime a dozen. This is where most people spend all their time. They're important, but much less critical to success than finding a hot market. Very, very important. Also, copywriting is not just for sales letters. It's not just for sales letters. I use copywriting in my banner ads, my videos, my tutorials. This right here is a form of copywriting. My aim is to persuade you that I know what I'm talking about. And if you guys like the odds and you're like, hey, I know that most people don't make money, but I think this guy can teach me, boom, I think that'll work. Now, before we get into this, if you want notes from this video, we're gonna go over these again. Um, downloadmynotes.com, and if you want mentoring, you go to blogprivatenetwork.com. But I wanna talk about some of these and I wanna see if you catch them, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you one more time to watch that video, and I want you to see how many of these you can spot. How many copywriting elements can you spot in this clip? Deep in the Amazon jungle, Motorbike Man discovers an ancient wealth secret. Back before I discovered this secret, the only thing I had was the jungle and my motorbike. And whatever food I had, I kept in this satchel because Frankly, the bigger animals in the jungle would take it from me. But then one day, as if by magic, I saw something sparkle down in the water. It was, it was a bracelet. I knew right then and there, that bracelet would change my life. Then I found another one. And another. And then, an entire satchel of money that matched my previous satchel. I left the jungle that day a changed man. Not only was I able to get rich beyond my wildest dreams, buy this fancy car and move into this beautiful backyard office, but I also ran out of batteries but I also was able to find these bracelets for you. Over here, in this fancy box that was blessed by the thousand farts of the ancient people, you could have your own bracelet and get all this wealth for the low price of just $99.95. And the funny thing is, my bike actually goes faster when I have the bracelet on. That was with no bracelet. Now watch what happens 
when I put the magic bracelet on. The results are undeniable. All right, guys, so how many of these copywriting elements did you spot? We had a lot. We had a compelling headline, limiting the choices. There was only one thing for sale. We had a call to action, strong words, made it easy to consume, short, easy, and to the point. We showed benefits, not features. Now, notice how a benefit and a feature is different. A benefit is um, something that it's going to benefit you. This is how it's going to help you. A feature is what does it do? This has glossy cards. That would be a feature. The glossy cards won't stick together and will make years of playtime fun. Boom. That's, that's better. Okay, social proof. I showed how the motorbike actually went faster. Testimonial. We talked about how it worked for me and other people. And again, that was a joke video. Calm down. We showed an example of the result. We had a pattern interrupt. There was a call to action. I just didn't put a phone number or a site because I'm not actually selling it. Uh, storytelling, speaking to why they're there. They want unlimited wealth. I had interesting facts. Some of them I should have done more. Educate, inform, and sell more. And when you understand this, you don't need a fancy copywriting course. Copywriting courses are great. I teach copywriting in my course, but I teach it in a way that we focus on your market. Because it, it, copywriting is all about knowing your market. Because you guys look at my writing, you listen to how I talk, I talk like I never went to school, right? And that works because I know my market, okay? Not because it's easy or whatever, it's because I know my market. All you need to do is know your market. And if you understand them and you're ethical and you find something you can sell with a good profit margin or affiliate marketing or whatever it is, you, my friends, can make money without having to wear bracelets. Have a good one. Subscribe. Watch the videos in the description. You want to learn copywriting? I got four copywriting videos in the description. Watch them. Be ethical. Focus on stuff that works. Focus on stuff that's good. Remember, you're in charge of what you do, what you sell, and how you sell it. And you're also on the hook for it. So be careful with what you say. Follow all laws and rules. Go forth and make money. And I'll see you next time in the videos in the description.